Happy New Year everyone. My name is Pastor Kingsley at the Word of Faith Centre. Welcome to our YouTube channel. And I just want to share a brief word for you to carry through this year. And the title is, Trust His Works, Not Your Own. And we'll go over to Ephesians chapter 2 and it says in verse 8 and 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Every person that places faith in the Lord Jesus has received their salvation through God's grace by faith. It is not our works that secures our right standing with God, but it's God's favor and kindness that sent Jesus to the cross to bear our sins our wrongs and suffer our punishment and so by God's grace he has taken care of the gap that was between us and him this principle of by grace through faith is how we relate with God for all of our lives as we go through this year I encourage you to fall back on this principle this truth this revelation that it is by grace through faith we're going to carry that thought throughout this year i think there's a tendency when we pray or when we set our hearts to receive something from god we sometimes begin to wonder if we deserve it have we prayed enough have we fasted enough or even we sometimes begin to put a list up of the stuff that we shouldn't have done and that becomes a blockage to us and in our minds, at least, it becomes a reason why we may not have a favorable response from God. But get this, we do not live a holy life in order to gain access to God. We live a holy life because he has given us access to himself and through the death and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have that free access to him. We live holy in order to please him. We live holy not to get access or to gain favor, but he gave us favor when we were dead in trespasses and sins, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 5. No, a holy life is our response to God's love. A holy life is how we grow closer to him, but we have access by grace through faith. We come boldly to God only because of his provision for us through the Son, Jesus Christ. Hebrews 4.14 puts it like this. Seeing then that we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. What is it that often holds us back uh, from our spiritual progression. It is often the knowledge of our own weaknesses. It's the knowledge that we carry weaknesses, we become mindful of those weaknesses. And the scripture says Jesus is our high priest. He makes intercession for us before the Father and he fully sympathizes with all your weaknesses. In fact, he spoke to the Apostle Paul that his strength was made perfect in Paul's weaknesses. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 and 10, it puts it like this. And he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. My grace, my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, the Apostle Paul responds, Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities or in my weaknesses that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Verse 10 puts it like this. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities or in weaknesses, 
in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. What does this mean for us? It means that Jesus has his attention on our weaknesses, but not in a negative way. They are the perfect opportunity for him to demonstrate his grace in your life. I am not suggesting that Paul was having a fight of conscience in this verse, but the principle of surrendering our weaknesses to Jesus is the same regardless of the weakness. Whatever area of life you feel weak, he is the only one who can be your strength through that weakness. But much more than that, your confidence towards him comes from his grace, not your individual strength. So every answered prayer is because of his grace towards you, which he has released towards you, independent of how strong your spiritual walk is. So for this new year, let your focus be on God's grace, not on your works and your efforts. You win this year because he favours you. Your weakness becomes an opportunity for his strength. Happy New Year to you all.